Let's understand the proof of line as perpendicular to a set of parallel lines. So let's understand what the statement of this proof says. If we have two parallel lines M and N and we have a line which is perpendicular to one of the given parallel lines, then this line is also perpendicular to the other parallel line. This is what we have to prove here. By doing this proof, what we aim to learn is, we aim to understand that this proof is an extension of corresponding angle axiom. Here, the angle made by the transversal with the pair of parallel lines is 90 degrees. We can understand what is being said in the proof by taking example of these pencils, we can see that this pencil, we can call it P1, is not parallel to this pencil P2 and this pencil P3 is perpendicular to pencil P1. Is this pencil P3 also perpendicular to pencil P2? No. We can see that this is not perpendicular as this angle is not 90 degrees. What can we do to make this pencil also perpendicular to this pencil? Well, we can rotate this pencil in downward direction. We have rotated pencil P2 in the downward direction so that P2 is parallel to P1. And now, if this angle is 90 degrees, we can see that this angle has also become 90 degrees. So when two pencils P1 and P2 are parallel, then if the third pencil P3 is perpendicular to P1, then P3 is perpendicular to P2 also. Let's do the proof. We are given here that L, M and N are three lines such that M is parallel to N and L is perpendicular to N and we have to prove that L is perpendicular to M. Let's do the proof. We can call this angle as 1 and this as 2. So here we can write that angle 1 is equal to 90 degree because it is given that L is perpendicular to N. Also, we can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because M is parallel to N given and these two angles are corresponding angles. So this we get by corresponding angle axiom. So angle 1 is equal to 90 degrees and angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So this will imply that angle 2 is also equal to 90 degrees. So this angle is also equal to 90 degrees. So this implies that L is perpendicular to M also. And this is what we had to prove here. So this proof is a special case of corresponding angle axiom where one of the corresponding angles is 90 degrees then the other corresponding angle will also be 90 degrees because the lines are given to be parallel so the transversal if perpendicular to one of the parallel lines will be perpendicular to the second parallel line also. Let's summarize what we have learned here. If M is parallel to N and L is perpendicular to N, then L is perpendicular to M also.